Most of the time, you'll have just one estimate on the screen. When I click on the Estimate Window button, I see costs for the Stillwell job. But there are good reasons to have several estimates open. Right now, I've got three estimates open. I'll show you. The Stillwell estimate is checked. That means it's active. I've also got Just Testing open. And here's Estimate 2. We have two cost books open, Improvement and Construction. Switching back and forth between estimates and cost books is easy. Just click on Window. We're going to copy about 50 lines of framing costs from the Stillwell bid to Estimate 2. That saves a lot of time. I'll arrange the screen so it's split between the Stillwell job and Estimate 2. First, I'll minimize the Improvement cost book. And I'll get Estimate 2 on the screen. And I'll tile the two estimates. Now, I'll find the framing costs I want in Stillwell. Holding the Shift key down, I'll press the down arrow key until I've selected all the rough carpentry costs in the Stillwell job. OK, I've got all rough carpentry selected. Now I'll click on Copy. Now all these carpentry costs are in the Windows clipboard. The next step is to click where I want to insert in Estimate 2. Here's where these costs belong. I'll click and paste. The whole section gets copied. I've just pasted about 50 lines from the Stillwell estimate into Estimate 2. That can save hours of estimating time. But there's one more step, adjusting the quantities. The framing quantities on most jobs will be different. And that's our subject in the next frame. I've pasted rough framing costs from the Stillwell estimate to my Estimate 2, but the quantities are different in the two jobs. For example, Estimate 2 requires 58 linear feet of spruce fascia, not 72 feet. I'll change 72 to 58 by right-clicking on the line I want to change and selecting Change a Cost Line. And type 58. There, that's better. I'll save Estimate 2. Recycling old estimates saves lots of time. You can copy and paste just like we've done. Even better, create a template estimate that includes all the work you do most often. That way you never have to start from scratch. Open the template, make a few changes, save under a new name, and print it again. Template estimates are like having a cookie cutter. You can stamp out new estimates one after another. Every time you save an estimate that's already on disk, National Estimator turns the prior version into a backup copy. The best way to understand this is to see it for yourself. I'll click on the Open button so you can see the file types. Notice estimates.est in the Files of Type box. National Estimator assumes that estimates have a file type of EST. Estimate backups have a file type of BAK or BK$. National Estimator displays only files of the type selected. Select the file type BAK and you'll see only backup files. Reverting to a backup is handy if you make a mistake and want to abandon changes. When an estimate gets more than a few pages long, scrolling from one end to the other can be a pain. The Stillwell estimate is an example. For example, this Stillwell estimate is nine pages, and I'm on page three. I could scroll to page nine if I wanted to see the estimate total, but clicking on the Estimate Page button is faster. I'll type the page number I want to see, page nine, and click on OK. And here's page 9. I'm ready to print Estimate 2. Let's select it. 
To print an estimate, click on the Print button. To print one copy of the entire estimate, just click on OK. To print only a few pages or several copies, set the print range and number of copies. Other options in the Print dialog box depend on the printer you've got. Click on Properties to see other printers installed and the options available. We don't need that now, so I'll click on OK to print Estimate 2.